Okay, so um, recently I made a video about my first year experience at university and um, it was quite popular, you guys liked it and you said that you've been waiting a while for it to come out. But this video is my first year experience at medical school and it's just a little bit different, it talks about the course a bit more and stuff like that. So to start off with, in terms of the course, I actually enjoyed it quite a lot because um, there was a lot of human biology, human anatomy, physiology and that's basically where you learn more about the body and like the different organs in the body. For me, that sort of stuff is interesting because I like learning more about the human body, whereas stuff like chemistry or maths, I find that sort of stuff boring. We did obviously have a little bit of chemistry, but a few people were scared that um, there's going to be a lot of chemistry in medicine. But realistically, I think there's only about 5% of medicine that is chemistry, so don't worry about that most of it is biology. The second thing is the topics that we covered. Now, in medicine, our university, we don't call them topics, we call them strands. So for example, the first strand that we did was CVRR, which is cardiovascular, respiratory, and renal. Obviously that's self-explanatory, um, cardiovascular, respiratory, which is the lungs, and renal, which is the uh, kidneys, basically. And then we did nutrition, metabolism, and endocrinology, which was one strand. So that covered the liver, um, the hormones in the body, and the hormones produced by the pituitary gland. Um, and there was a bit of biochem as well. Now, the nutrition part was the biochem. The biochem was probably the hardest one, because biochem is just so boring. And it's pretty confusing as well. So like you've got chemicals which are like 20 letters long um, and you have to remember you have to remember them and and there's like and there's all these cycles and how the like one cycle links to another cycle and then this cycle links to this one and how the glucose is recycled or whatever like I forgot half of it because it's just so complex that's probably the most boring part of the first year medicine and we also have another strand called MIC, which is medicine in the community. Now this is more sociology sort of based. It's all about communication, your teamwork, building a rapport with the patient, professionalism, and basically just remember to shake the patient's hand and don't say anything rude and don't say anything nasty, basically. In terms of assignments, we had about four or five assignments. And the first one was we had to summarize the GMC handbook. And that was quite relevant because obviously you, as a medical student you need to understand what the GMC guidelines are. So to summarise the GMC guidelines, um, it sort of gives you an understanding of what the guidelines are. Another one was a critical appraisal. Now if you don't know what a critical appraisal is, if you're doing A levels of GCSE, basically it's where you get a piece of literature or research and then you have to critically appraise it basically. But that just means that you mention all the good points and the bad points and why why it was a good article, why it was a bad article. Another assignment which was very interesting was the family project. So basically every three students gets assigned a pregnant mother and you have to follow the mother across the pregnancy. So before the birth of the child and then after the birth of the child. And then you have to write about the biological, the psychological and the social effects of the pregnancy or the birth of the baby has on the family. It's quite complicated, but it's actually really interesting and you see how like the family's area or the background or like um, the family income is going to affect the outcome of the child's health in the future sort of thing. This one was probably the heaviest assignment of the whole course in first year. Yeah, it would, they, they took this one quite seriously and it was worth quite a lot of marks, so a lot of people put a lot of time on this one. Now, in terms of free time, we didn't have much free time because 9, 9 o'clock till 5 o'clock, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday we had lectures. On Wednesday it was 9 o'clock till 12 o'clock. Um, and then after lectures, after 5 o'clock, you have like 2 hours most people spend two hours summarizing all their lectures for the day and then um, so, so then it's about seven o'clock and then around seven o'clock till eight o'clock you eat and then eight o'clock till nine I went to the gym and come back shower by ten o'clock I was sort of free so I went to my friends and we, we were just playing FIFA or just watching a movie or something or we were just chilling basically and then some days obviously you have football as well or basketball or whatever, whatever else you do in your spare time you have all of that as well on top. So 
I was in bed by around one o'clock. Um, I was probably asleep by half one or two o'clock uh, latest. But then, yeah, so I was quite sleep deprived during the week and then I caught up on my sleep during the weekend. In terms of the exams, they were hard. I, they were really hard. Like, I'm kind of surprised that I passed, but like, yeah, they were, they were so hard. You have to make sure you're friends with like people who are just as motivated or more motivated than you are. So luckily, I had a few friends that were really motivated to um, get in, like 80s or 90s in their exams. So I was revising with them. Um, and because of that, like they were sort of teaching me. And in that sense, in terms of medicine exams, if you teach someone else, it reinforces your knowledge, plus someone else gains from it. So like my friends were teaching me, and I was learning and they were sort of reinforcing their knowledge. Most people pass unless you you really are lazy and you leave your revision to last minute. There are like about five or six people that fail every year and then maybe one person that gets kicked off the course or two people that get kicked off the course. In general, out of 100 people, nearly, I think about 95% pass basically. In terms of hospital visits and GP visits, we had about two or three GP visits throughout the year um, and that was to sort of reinforce our history taking knowledge so we get told about history taking and stuff like that plus we get to speak to a couple of patients who have got liver failure or um, cirrhosis of the liver and stuff like that so basically we get to reinforce the knowledge that we've been taught in our lectures um, during our hospital visits but that's basically my first year medical school experience and um, sorry if the video is a bit too long I don't think there's anything else I can talk about yet but in the next video hopefully there'll be more stuff to talk about but yeah thanks for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe